Ahoy there, you swarthy bilge rat scumbags. Captain MC Murr here, back with Tuesday Night Live Streams, Neo Atlas 1469, and ye better be ready to set sail, lest ye be fancy in a swim with Davy Jones. It's going down. It's an NIS America live stream launch event. I could not be more excited about that. And you just know that that's how things go on this channel. But uh, this is an interesting title. And if you watched my review of it, you already know that. And you already kind of have an idea of what you're in for. But even I don't have a full idea of what we're all in for because we're playing further into the game like we said we would to see what else has to happen. What else will happen? What other doors open up the deeper you get into this game? And that all depends on where you go in what you explore and what you do. And we're going to check that out now. We're already joined by John Rogers. Welcome JR to TNL. Back again exciting stuff so the first thing on the menu here is we've got to get some exploration routes mapped we're trying to get around the bottom of africa here and they okay so we can't go any further than that see depending on how you map this it's not going to necessarily be the world map as we know it which is historically accurate because you know they didn't exactly have gps back then captain retro has joined us well as has roaming dan chest air shirt for the win nice and fuzzy all right, so let's take a look at what we got here. Go into the menu. Go into the fleet. Yeet, Miguel. So, Admiral Antonio Gomez. He is already out and about. But Maria Almeida. She needs something to do. She's our gal down here in the south. So we're going to go ahead and chart her an expedition. And it's hard to say where she's going to go. Miguel is my father. Hey! Joined by ICP and Tyler Mason. Guys, welcome to TNL, an official NIS America livestream launch celebration of Neo Atlas 1469. And while it may not be exactly what I thought it was going to be, that really doesn't matter too much because now is just a matter of seeing what it is. God, she just can't go that far. It doesn't even do us any good for her to go that far. We're going to send her this way. They're going to kind of crisscross routes. We're hoping that we are going to discover some land, possibly more colonies, and open up some more trade possibilities. But they can only go so far as they sit. That has everything to do with the type of ships that are in their fleet. So, let's see how we do. Sail it up. Maria has set sail. Atta girl, Maria. Now, let's check in with our man, the Dread Pirate, Luis, what's his name? Or is that even his name? Yeah, Luis Baldi. He's anchored, so he's exploring. And you know what? He's not getting off light. Because there are Krakens in this area, and he's the one that's packing the firepower. Now, I, it kind of bothered me that in certain instances, these admiral's jobs are already set for them one's a better explorer one's a better charismatic figure to get into certain areas and one of them fights now you can train each and every one of them to do that but they're so far out from you know being able to do it well it almost doesn't make sense to train them in something other than what they specialize in now i may be wrong on that and you know maybe a little bit of cross training all these can do what they can do we are joined by maniac gaming also known as mainly gaming the artist formerly known as mainly gaming and uncle strange perhaps from the look of things so guys if you're just now joining us welcome to the tnl tuesday night live streams a triumphant return taking a look at neo atlas 1469 on the nintendo switch from our friends at nis america who should be joining us later on the stream for some q a so let's set sail now, it's going to get hairy, because Luis is almost definitely going to find a Kraken. And we've been bullied by these Krakens. We've been bullied by the King Krakens. It's Bull Duke. They're keeping us from getting to the New World, which we desperately need to do, because most of the items that we're going to find that are extra, that are going to add to, they're going to buff stats, they're going to give us new types of ships that we can use, that's all going to be over there. So far, Africa hasn't yielded much in the way of discoveries. So... We're going to keep exploring it, but we got to get over to America, too. we got to make sure. It's a big map. I mean, there's hours of work to do here. Mm 
He's already back. That's not a good thing. That means we hit a Kraken. Several seagulls are resting on the main mast. Is that what he turned back for? Can they see foreign lands from up here? CM Retro Gaming is here. Welcome CM Retro. I am honored. Land ho, but I get the feeling better things lie beyond. Onward, men, to Captain D's. He's going to Captain D's. As a sailor told me of an anomaly in the ocean, just as I saw the swell, it's a kraken. The monster extends its tentacles toward our main mast. All right, so just like that, we're busted up. The ship's damaged, and we know that a Kraken's there. I'm just going to approve of the report. He's not going to find anything else. If he goes out again, he's just going to find the Kraken again. Now, he's buffed his navigation stat for what that is worth, but we really need more battle power. We can only achieve that by getting him better ships. We can only achieve better ships by getting to the mainland to get extras. So they're going to buff the ability to build said extra ships. We need those models. We can't get there because of the Kraken. So I'm thinking we're just going to have to sacrifice this guy and we're going to have to get rid of these Krakens. We can't see the Kraken. That's a problem. Hashtag find that Kraken. If I could see him, we could send him to attack him. So I hate that that didn't get uncovered there. Hindsight, I probably should have just disapproved that. Let's see what Antonio Gomez brings us back. Let's go, Antonio. It was after a storm like this. The pirate Morgan sunk my ship. Oh, man, some Long John Silver's chicken planks would be off the hook. So that was a that was a, uh, a highlighted word there. So that may be a character later in the story. I talk to Marcel every day. He saved me from isolation and despair. I wonder how he's doing now. I'd love to go check on him sometime. You do that. A pod of dolphins approached us. A quick kraken. A quick kraken battle rap. As we're sailing fast past all this whale crap, I got the guns on my ship. Ready to bust loose. I'm a captain, you know I got gold tooth. I'm gonna stack gold chips in my chest. Sailing seas, cause you know I'm the best. I'm gonna head out to Captain D's. I'm real itchy, I might have fleas from all this hair, but I don't care. I'm gonna eat chicken planks with my hands in the air. <coughs> Alright. The strong wind snapped a rope connecting sails to the mast, then the mast falls over and nearly crushes me. I had no I had no say in that. The crew and I luckily managed to hoist it back into place. I'm a proud advocate of Kraken Dice, by the way, for our D&D project. They make a great product for a very competitive price. Land ahoy, but there is surely further glory to be had. We will continue our voyage. Let's go, men. Hashtag and see our rules. Man, he's getting out there, isn't he? I think we found some land. So he's going to stop there. Once they hit it and it's solid and they can't really go around it, they stop. That opens up a big hole in the fog of war and you hope you find resources. You hope you find a new town, something. Because when you find the towns, you can station them there and then that extends your reach, obviously. Yeah, the Crack and Dice video is doing quite well. I'm surprised to look back and see how that's going. Now look at Antonio Gomez. He's upped his charisma stat. And that's an important thing because without charisma, you can't just go into any port. If they're wary, if they're islanders, if they don't know our kind, they may not want you there. So there goes trade. There goes extending your reach. A lot rests on that. I could stand to be a little more charismatic. I was going to get on to you about that, Antonio. So now we zoom in. We see what he found. We see some mountains here. Your exploration's moving forward at a steady pace. And you gotta keep the king happy. As long as you're moving, the king is happy. It doesn't matter what you did. As long as you're moving. And you gotta remember to slow time back down. Because you have a set amount of time before he's expecting you to find this lost city of gold. What happens in the game beyond that, I don't know. Because I know that you're not going to find that city in the time, you know, you're not going to map the whole world in the course of that. See, there's a lot of emptiness in this game, and that worries me. And a lot of people, that'll be a chief complaint of theirs, if they're playing a game and it's like, oh, well, you know, 
there's just a whole lot of nothing you know what what is all this and obviously there's going to be some areas that are not charted or not uh, inhabited if this is historically accurate but so far we're doing a lot of sailing and we're just not finding what we're looking for we're going to keep on going we'll let maria come on back and let her report report maria and then we're going to set them back out again I mean, it's a neat concept for a game. I would have liked some more sword swinging, a little bit more emphasis on tactics and combat, though. But we're going to see how deep that actually goes, if we can bag us a Kraken, and or if some pirates be running loose. We left the port behind, caught the wind in our gaining speed. Looks like the seasonal winds are in our favor. It's not just this, mind you, in the economics. There is a backstory here. Some involve some characters, some doesn't. So depending on where they are, a certain uh, character may need to explore that part for the story to progress. Otherwise, it won't mean anything to the other admirals. And it's your job to know that. But if you don't know that, Miguel will chime in. Good evening, everyone. A fine day for exploring. We are joined by our friends at NIS America. Welcome to Tuesday Night Live Streams. We are setting sail, sailing the seven seas. We don't even know the seven seas yet. We're charting what little of them we've actually seen. We were damaged by thick sea, we but we managed to patch things together. Maria, stop apologizing. Just sail. She discovered a school of tuna swimming at an incredible speed. If she can find a Costco where we can get a vat full of mayonnaise and some salt, we'll be in business. Because tuna on crackers is a guilty of pleasure of mine. Don't tell anyone. Here we go. Great to have NIS America in the stream. So much going on with NIS coming up, too. So many great releases on the way. Not that that ever changes, but there's always more to talk about, more than just what we have in front of us. We'll get to some of that later on, some of the upcoming uh, titles and stuff that you can be guaranteed that you're going to see unboxings of and play right here on the MC Mer Show. Is this a Switch exclusive, Uncle Strange asks? For now, yes, in a sense. But you can also play it on Steam, from what I understand, and it was available a month earlier on Steam if you're playing on PC. But as far as consoles, for now, yes. Neo Atlas was birthed on the PlayStation 2, from what I could tell, and really is similar to what you see here, just not as pretty to look at. So you've got to kind of respect what this is, you know, that this is a tried-and-true setup, a format, if you will, just because I'm new to it. I don't really get to decide how it goes from here, but I can certainly look and see what I make of it, being a newcomer to the franchise. Hello and thanks for having us here. Glad to have you here. Lots of action, lots of things to talk about. And again, if you guys, if you guys have questions for NIS, make sure that you ask them now. And oh my god, here's a Kraken, and that just completely disrupted my train of thought. We are now going to take out this Kraken, because that's what has to happen. We're going to take a look right now at our fleet. We're going to take a look at Luis Baldi. We're going to go ahead and give him a repair job. I could see this maybe coming to PS4 or something later on. As, you know, Probably digital, maybe not a physical copy. Get a Switch, Unc. You need one of those. Everyone should have one. That's just the way the winds are blowing these days. Where was that Kraken? I just saw him. That slippery Kraken. If you can't see him, you can't attack him. And I'm getting tunnel vision on attacking here. I should be working on my trade routes. But until we get somewhere... That's a long route. Nostalgia has joined us. Welcome to Nostalgia and Intrigued Gaming. Welcome, IG. The Kraken is definitely released. Yeah, you know, Switch games just have that extra wow factor or that extra need to have the physical copy, I think, more so than the other consoles do. And other console people will probably argue with me on that, but... I guess what I'm trying to say, if anything needs a physical copy, it's the Switch version of games, because people are all about collecting that. And being as new a system it is, a lot of people are going for full collections on that. Look at this Kraken up here. It's a red Kraken. I knew those existed, but we haven't found them in this game yet. Time to pay our admirals, and I don't feel like they're worth what they're charging us yet, but we'll find out. Look at this guy. Look at this. So we discovered the Kraken. You get 10,000 gold for spotting him. And now I want him investigated. 
I don't care if Antonio can't do it. Go do it, Antonio. It's officially streamed because CARP is here. CARP in Cincinnati. Yeah, Antonio, get up there. I know he's going to get hurt. I don't care. It has to be done. Leave it on speed dial, too, because Baldy needs to get back and he's the next one going out. But, God, he can't do it till the other dude's back. We've got to defeat him. Yeah, he's got to go down. He's blocking our way. And, God, Baldy came back really fast. Let's see what he found. Maybe he just found land. I don't know, but he had quite a route going. Onward, men, to Captain D's. There's a huge tornado. I can stop that tornado with my trusty cutlass. Yeah, this was created by Art Dink, who apparently were the creators of it originally. It had an interesting track record, as I spoke about in the review, unbeknownst to me. Now, where is the Kraken? There it is. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, you turd, it ran away. I had him. Is it RP's birthday? Happy birthday, Cart. I'm honored that you would spend it with us sailing the seas looking for Kraken. Okay, here we go. But well, he's already investigating it. I don't want to await his return because he's not going to do jerk doodly to it. He's not my fighter. Well, let's see how he does. Get him. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> he's done. Okay, well, oh, he, he, he did a... Look at the power meter. We got a little bit of a mark on him. This game more like Uncharted Waters or Sid... It's really not like either. It just doesn't really do any of that. The combat is pretty much simulated for you. You strategize only in which admiral you send to handle the tasks. Your battle power can change based on the ships that you have in the fleet, but the focus of this game, which I am not really doing a good job illustrating, is really your trade and your economics. You're trying to run a successful trade business, not fight pirates. And fight pirates, we will. Luis, we need him on the Kraken right now. Now, we do have pirates on this route, and we want to dispatch them, because when pirates are on a trade route, you can cease to make money on said route. That cuts off your lifeblood. So we're going to send Maria, even though that's not her strong suit. I want to see how she fares. If she doesn't do well, we really need to up the ante on their battle power all around. Explorations, whatever. But right now, our explorations are being cut short by bloodthirsty pirates and kraken. And there's so many kraken. I mean, it's like it's like a school. They're talking about a school of tuna. This is a school of krakens. I don't know what the significance is for a red kraken versus a green kraken. I don't think it's even like civilization. It solely focuses on the exploration, the mapping, and the economics. And there is a backstory to it, strangely enough, it seems like. Let's see what we did. I'm having a hard time comparing this to anything, because if it's anything, it is unique. We've arrived at the region where the crack was supposed to be. Badunka. Our defeat was absolute. Yeah, we figured it would be, Antonio, because that's your uh, that's your M.O. Antonio. AD&D 2nd Edition, which may be Canadian Retro in disguise. I do like the exploration of the game so far. I'm wishing there was more combat, but at this point, I can't tell you that there's not. Action may heat up. We're going to get more admirals. Things are going to change, and it's up to me to see it through. We didn't even scratch the Kraken, so that's really, uh, that's really disappointing. This route has pirates. I believe we're already taking care of it, Miggy. Alright, Maria went after them. She cut them in half, but she didn't win the fight. Bad looks, Maria. Bad looks. Maria got skint back. And she should have four ships in her fleet. 
We're going to fix that right now. She's going to come back thick and quick with more battle power, more guns, ready to take care of the issue. Because she should be able to. We've got to make sure we can delegate other tasks to other admirals. All right, park it, Maria. We'll hear you out, but then we're going to buff you up. The Kraken. <laughs> Whoa. We have arrived at the region where the pirate was supposed to be. This guy at Remasters would definitely be welcome. I would buy any and all of them, especially in Collector's Edition format. Man, I'm enjoying this guy a one complete, and the fact that I've sat on this guy a five as long as I have is ridiculous. Not enough time in the day to play all these great games. They had us outmatched. We couldn't do anything but retreat. See, Dan, the interesting thing about this game is that you will be able to play it. And we talked about replay value and how important that is for a game. I'll gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. <laughs> Wimpy. But yeah, when you map this map, it's never going to be the same thing twice. So who knows what you're going to find. What I don't know is... Will it really mix up the resources and the locale, the location of the towns? And I mean, I won't know that till I know that. I mean, I'm thinking you got at least 200 hours of gameplay here because I've really not mapped out much at all. You back off of it and it's like, that's not very much map done. But you get down on it and there's a lot going on. Jester's Gaming Biz has joined us as well as Nostalgia. So glad to have you guys here on TNL. All the action you can stand right here. King is asking us again about progress. I only have 10 years left. Do you think you can find Zipangu? Not with 10,000 gold, I can't, fool. You need to up that. Alright, so we need to get down to Maria. and We need to get her fixed up. Look at Maria's ships. Completely tore back. Alright, repair them all, first of all. Look how expensive that's going to be. And she needs another ship. She's not getting it done. And it needs to be a battleship. Point two on the firepower. We'll get her a galley. Point six on the firepower. That's really going to add, not to her ability to get further out, but it will add her battle numbers up. It'll allow her to do more damage in a combat scenario. So now we're going to see if she can get her first win. And this is part of the cross training I talked about. While this may not be the most efficient way to play this game, or just outright wrong if you want to get down to it, I want to know that I'm wrong simply by experience. I want to find that out. Now I don't see the pirates at all. Where did they go? We had the trade route going. Now they're just not on it anymore. They were right in here somewhere. There they No, they're the ones on the route. That's our ship. So where's the pirates? Okay, see this is where it gets you. You have to... Yeah, there's a ton of ships to unlock. And as you find treasure chests around there, you'll find the plans for other ships. You'll be able to build them. So you'll really be able to expand the fleet and what you're able to do as far as exploration and combat both. Cancel the trade options. I'm not doing any trade options. Okay, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I don't know what this thing thinks I'm doing. Back to the fleet, please. She was on Explore. Is why but there was nowhere for her to go. All right, Luis. I'm going to send Luis straight up. Straight up. Into the new world. Right, that's good enough. Let's get him up there. We found some really cool stuff up here last time. He's going to find another Kraken. You know that, right? Meanwhile, this is where they get you. You sit there and you're thinking and you're thinking and you got to stop that clock.
she's anchored. I guess she can be explored in the meantime, but we don't see the pirates down there. And I had her geared up to take them on. I guess that's as far as she's going to go. And before we speed things up, we want to make sure everybody's got something to do. Oh my god, Antonio. 50 G's it's going to cost to fix this up. Now, Antonio is much like Maria in that he's geared more toward exploration than he is fighting. He doesn't have near the battle power of Captain Luis. But he's got the navigation experience, so it is what it is. Well, we gotta give him something to do, even if it means his death again. He can't just sit here. And the thing is, is he's gonna find another Kraken, but you can't actually... As far as I know, you do not do damage to the Kraken unless you investigate it and thereby are attacking it. So that gets frustrating. I haven't even shown you... We're almost... We're halfway into the stream and we haven't even done any trading yet, but until we find, you know, a new discovery... There's nobody else to trade with. We've got trade routes going all over, and we can look at that. He, here, we can't get out on land and look around like you can in Sid Meier's. It's just not geared that way. you got to figure out what's more profitable between going from one good to another good, one town to another town, and you got to think about distance, too. We recently had a fan survey that saw the immense love that this guy received, so it's something we're definitely keeping in mind. Yeah, that's good news there. The bad news is I have to pay my admirals, and they're expensive. So you are not playing as a single character. We're like micromanaging others. You are. Completely. And hopefully training them to do what you need them to do. There's a stone that seals off calamity in the far east. It may be a rumor, but I say we try to find the stone of sealing. <sighs> He's already back. There's no way he did that that fast. He ran into something. A large herd of seahorses. Well, that's not paying the bills. I stood atop the crow's nest under the glaring sun. And I farted... Okay, well, whoa, there may not even be anything here. So he stopped right there. Now, if there's anything on that island, great. If there's not, not so great. Ah, okay, so we found something. This is very important. I'm curious about something in Alexandria in Egypt. For research purposes, I'd like to take my fleet there to explore. Do you have a fleet? Well, if you're curious, it must be the discovery of the century. So this is where the story starts to progress. Stuff that's specific to an admiral and stuff that's unique to, you know, not a trade route, not a kraken. Something that they're actually going to go try to discover that you will in turn be paid for. I wouldn't say that. I'm just looking for a little confirmation. Hmm. In a sense, I'm trying to see the world a little more completely. Having said that, I'll wait for your approval of my voice to Alexandria. You do have my support. You've never wanted to go anywhere before. Admiral Perez looks so serious. What is he really after? Oh, let's see. And here's Miguel. Okay, Miguel. I dig. We're on it. He told me he wanted to go to Alexandria. The epidemic is spreading. We have to find the Stone of Sealing soon? Well, okay, but I mean, we're dealing with Krakens right now. The epidemic has reached Lisbon. We have to find the Stone of Sealing or it'll infect me too. How quick is this happening? Okay, slow it down, slow it down. 
He said it was like East Africa that we'd find the Stone of Sealing. Have you heard of the gigantic old tower in the sea near Alexandria? No, I haven't. And these are little rumors, these thought bubbles you see. It'd be more interesting if we could stop and talk to somebody, but you don't. Have you heard of the... You actually... Was that what I was looking at? No, I wanted to look at the tower. But those are hints that tell you where to go. Yeah, we can't let the epidemic reach Miguel. Let's the epidemic reach Miguel. All right, so there's the epidemic. Now, that must be... Why would we move him? We don't want to move him. Do we not have ships for the other dude? Is that what it is? Because he's not even on the list half the time. He's like a rogue scholar that doesn't do any of his own sailing. All right, so if we don't have him, then how are we going to send him there? Move fleet here. No, I don't want to move him there. Maybe we have to. I don't think he's back yet, is he? No, he's back. Maybe dude goes with him. I don't know. I don't know the answer to that one. Perez is supposed to be his own guy, but he, I guess, later on in the game will be able to do that. To actually be a admiral that you tell to set sail. Alright, so we have an epidemic going. Everything's purple. <laughs> and that's not good. So let's look... Good news, Captain. That's good news. And yes, I will do that. Glad to hear he's doing all right. I appreciate the updates, too, because, yeah, we're definitely wondering. And speaking of updates, here's this new land, right? We need to move a fleet there, and we have no admirals we can appoint. So at this point, we're just going to have to move time until we get one of them freed up. Where are the pirates? It's not them that's the trade ship. Where are the pirates? Maria, you got business. Let's hear what Maria has to say. It's a mite bit hot under this wig. So we had, it looks like we had a donation there from Uncle Strange. I must not have the Streamlabs up on there, but Unc, you're too kind. In honor of that, just for you, I'm going to switch to my trusty tri-cornered hat. That's much better. It's hot under these lights. Now let's depart. I got pirate hair in my mouth. Unk's donation just earned him a, a hat upgrade. <laughs> Pull yourself together, Maria. <laughs> yeah, it ain't the lights. <laughs> Yeah, that's a lot of hair, man. I tried to pull off the Pirates and Pals cruise in uh, Walt Disney World, and not only did Captain Hook come after me, but I was sweating like a monster. Arcades Games has joined us. Welcome, Ryan. Great to have you in this fantastic live stream launch day episode of TNL looking at Neo Atlas 1469 on the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> that's Captain's favorite song. I love you! <laughs> <laughs> Yeet! Alright, let's see if we can find these pirates. The epidemic hit our fleet at the last port. The sailors are sick. Well, did you not take Ding Dong with you? 
I mean, what was the point of all that? He's not a selectable dude. Is it because I can only have three? If I disband her fleet, can I replace her with the other dude? I hate to do that, but that's what it's looking like we're doing. That's what we're having to do. Yep, we have to replace her with Perez. And that was a costly issue. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's no point in sending him there. He ding-donged it. Now we're going to have to get uh, all new ships. Purchase four of them bad boys. I ain't scared. They might have. You never know. That's probably not smart to have just that. We want some galleys. No, but you know what? He's not going to fight, so let's just do it. Exploration fleet. Oh my god, is they're eating us alive on the money. We're about to go bankrupt. He's in Lisbon. He needs to go to Alexandria. I don't think he can do that until we get yeah Baldi has to leave no we don't we want to relocate him is what we want to do ding dongs and ho-hos yeah Miguel better come up with a loan ski Maybe we can get Baldi to relocate out here, but it's going to be tough if these people don't want us there. I think they're going to let us. All right, so we're going to go ahead and extend our reach that way toward the New World. That's important. Now, he's leaving. We will relocate. And it's a shame because I like having Maria on staff because she was the charismatic one. She could get us into some places. This dude is the scholar, though, and we need him to come here and figure out what's up. No, not Tunis. Where are we? Excuse me, I went too far over. Alright. Yes. Alright, now something's gonna happen. And these pirates, men down here, they've cut us off. We don't have any way to, uh, to fix that right now. Unless we can find where they are. And we had them pinpointed, and now we don't. Hey, you better have some news, Antonio. Big money. I think we have all the trade routes going we can currently have. So until we level up enough with the king, we don't get any uh, more approval for roots. And apparently we need approval for more admirals. Even though we had them, we were not able to use them. Yeah, Nightbot's been awfully quiet tonight, hasn't he? I wonder what's up with that. Oh, well. We encountered a large sunfish swimming through the sea. He must have lived through many dangerous ordeals to grow that big. Anybody seen Nightbot tonight? Ice, have you seen him? Is he just not hanging out? The dolphins swimming near us began to chirp. After I tossed them some food, they swam away in satisfaction. <laughs> yeah, Miggy ain't breaking any legs. No kneecap breakage for Miguel. The Kraken might have gotten Nightbot. We can't rule it out. We don't have enough information to move forward yet. On our voyage, one of the crew fell overboard and plunged into the sea. That's weird. I don't know what's up with that. What did we find? A monstrous whale broke the surface of the water. There she blows. The whale took the sailor upon its back and calmly approached the ship. 
Yeah, Nightbot must have had other engagements tonight. Maybe he's a Daybot now. I heard the rumors of a gentle veil that saves sailors in peril. This must be him. The, that's how you know. The gentle whale has saved him. The sailors raised a great cheer at the sight of it. Once the sailor was safely aboard, the whale returned to the deep. The uninjured sailor faced out toward the sea and prayed for the whale. Without that whale, he may well have lost his life. Whale hype. Eat the whale. The lack of wind had left us immobile. Our lack of movement has caused our crew's morale to decrease. Keep the faith, crew. The wind will start up soon enough. It work. It stopped working on yours too, Cap. Okay, that's uh, that's interesting. I'll have to log in and see what's up. Not now, obviously, but later on we'll take a look at it. One night without a night bot won't kill us. No land in sight. We shall return to port. So that was a wasted trip. I guess we'll approve. Oh, there's the whale. And see, now I can't discover the whale because I can't click on him. We could get paid for that. We are suffering on the money. My fleet caught the epidemic at the last city we docked at. The conclusion being, did he find the cure? Because we sure didn't find any stones. Watch this be in no way connected to the epidemic. That the legendary lighthouse of Alexandria actually existed. The what now? It is said that a very tall lighthouse was built here long ago. <laughs> Pour one out for Nightbot. One tall enough to be called one of the seven wonders of the world. Elbow Miguel in the head. Don't make that face. Miguel, we're trying to be pirates here. Be tough. Look at Francisco. He's holding it together here. Nightbot ain't worth wasting a drink on. But the big lighthouse does seem to have existed. Take a shot every time Miguel makes a face. If you say so, then it must be true. That's a little better, Miguel. I can stomach that face a little bit better. All right, so a treasure-laden ship sunk at the light's end. If we can calculate how far the light reached, we can find that ship. Let's begin a research, find the sunken ship. As we figured, this has nothing to do with the epidemic, and everyone's dying. The Mystery of Alexandria, so a new quest. Dun, 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 dun. That sounds like a dangerous game. Dollar General Kool-Aid is getting poured out. I do not quite understand what Professor Perez is thinking, but... I am quite interested in finding a sunken ship with loaded treasures. Yeah, when we find it, Miguel, we're going to tie your foot to the anchor and leave you there. Based on the documents I've seen, the location of the lighthouse was around here. Miguel's getting a solo game. He's totally getting one. That's a prequel. You know, what was Miguel doing before all this? Before he was an advisor to a major trading company in the 1400s. In that case, we have more Lighthouse Scuttlebutt to collect. Don't be collecting no butt, Miguel. His nostrils, though. Yeah, it's straight up Peanuts game. When you're feeling tired, just think of the treasure that awaits us. It's not so much tired, Miguel, as people are dying. Yes, we heard about it. They say the Great Lighthouse looked huge from here. The people in the village of liars do nothing but lie. It's in the name. I'll send an admiral to feed him if I can see him. Okay, there's some money. We needed that. Look at all this mess. The bottomless cave is supposed to be somewhere around here, right? Look at this. Here's a chest we haven't discovered. What's in this? Discovered a cave with a bottom. 
Who's bottom? Acquired a reward of 500 gold. Our fleet has spread the epidemic to the city we were docked in. <laughs> the village of liars lie. That is truly amazing. Yeah, the Burger King hooked us up with some money. I know this isn't leading us to the cave, right? Thought bubbles are leading us straight to the cave right now. A little down south. Oh, we can't pay the admirals. They're all sick. They, they miss work. They don't get paid. That's how it works. They spotted a big hole over there. Could it possibly be? Insert Beavis and Butthead laughter right here. <laughs> but where is over there? Over where? Miguel, I don't know. A meeting spot for slightly lonesome men and women. It's an epidemic of some kind, I can tell you what, and I don't know how we're going to find what we need to stop it. You don't have to be lonely at PiratesOnly.com Landlubbers just don't get it. <laughs> PiratesOnly.com Could this little monkey be? Is this Marcel? Alright, so there's the foreshadowing. Reunion. We know that we have to send dude here. Investigate. Gomez. Yes. Yeah, eventually Miguel will be in charge of everything. It's in the cards. It has to happen. King Miguel. These people are all sick. We've spread the Black Death around the entire world and everybody's gonna die. Alright, let's take a step back. Take a step back. Who's doing what right now? He's anchored. He's not doing anything. He needs to be explored, but he doesn't really have anywhere to explore. Yeah, see, he can't get anywhere. Look at this. Yes. What's this? Okay, I don't want to look at that right now. I want to look at his chest. me in the chest a dwarf cannon so what this likely is is an equipable weapon there should be a Miguel shirt and it needs to come in and uh, or whatever the other one is alright so we can equip that and we will but first let's get these King, I can't, I can't do it all. King, I can't do it all, okay? Go make burgers. I would buy a Miguel shirt just out of respect at this point. Out of what I've been through. We can't stop them if we can't see them. How do you even know they're there? I mean, it's not them. The skull is on that ship because it is a ship affected by the pirates on its route. Now we gotta stop and look at a monkey. 
What was, at the time, raw torment and despair is now a warm memory. The moment our ship hits ground, I beeline to my old makeshift hut. <laughs> and there's the monkey. There inside the hut is that a small monkey. No doubt about it, it's Marcel. Without breaking eye contact, he draws toward me and beats me to death with a banana. I breathe a sigh of relief that he remembers who I am. The two of us rejoice at our long overdue reunion. After a while, I had to make my way back toward my ship, but Marcel didn't want to leave my side. Marcel seems to have missed me every bit as much as I've missed him. Very well. We shall always be together from now on. I'd say a parrot makes more sense, but if you need a monkey, okay. Maybe he will gnaw off Miguel's face, and then he won't be able to make faces. <laughs> Furiously taking notes. <laughs> Alright, so we need Miguel t-shirts. We discovered Marcel. Acquired a reward of 10,000 gold and a coupon for a free Miguel t-shirts when they launch. Reunion complete. Uh-oh. Face incoming. Get your shots ready. <laughs> ah, Miguel. The new addition to our company is so cute. Miguel, you're fired. What's next in the pipeline? They can certainly field that question, but I can tell you what's next for us as well here. In my new releases file. I think the next thing that we have coming from NIS here for sure is going to be Lapis Labyrinth. And there will be a collector's edition unboxing for that and a day one live stream for that as well. Jim's Retro Zone has joined us. Welcome, Jim. Great to have you on this episode of TNL. We're checking out Neo Atlas 1469 on the Nintendo Switch. If you're just joining us, it's the toothlessness of that face that makes it just the most. It is. All right, we're going to find these pirates. I've had enough. Where's the pirates? Where are they getting us? we got to get them when that ship is in the area because we don't see them. Let's give our pirates something to do here. They're not pirates, they're admirals, but it's more fun if we call them that. Dude's sick, but he's still got to get out there. I'm sorry. Get out there and earn your keep. Yeah, you always need more NIS in your life. If you love tactics RPGs, if you love turn-based RPGs, you've more than likely got a lot of catching up to do. How has he already returned? He just left. Oh, God. If you say it's a crack and you're fired. It's cracking. And again, if I'm not mistaken, that does not... You know what? I'm disapproving. Go back out. That was a crappy expedition. I'm not paying you to do that. Yes, investigate again. Wow. NIS did publish Penny Punching Princess. Penny Punching Princess was basically the same kind of combat style as Princess Guide that we looked at last time. And I did I missed out on Penny Punching Princess, but I can tell because I liked one, I would more than likely like the other. Lapis Labyrinth coming out next month. Hard to believe that's here already. And multiple exciting titles lined up for fall, such as Trails of Cold Steel. I'm almost totally convinced I need to play Trails of Cold Steel. I've not played any of the past ones, but it looks just a little too polished to pass up. And, uh, yeah, the TikTok Travelers. I'm not going to say I'm not intrigued. But, yeah, Trails of Cold Steel looks amazing. All right, he found something a little different this time. And surely to God there's something here, right? Yeah, we'll take it. We'll take more land. 
I'd still like to see that Kraken, though. There it is. That's a new Kraken. Alright. King, if you bother me again, I'm throwing you to the Kraken, and I will be the new king. Before this thing gets away, fight it. Yes. We're killing a Kraken. The stream's not over till the Kraken's dead. Yeah, we'll abolish the root, because can't nobody do nothing with it. Nobody's killing any pirates. Luis Baldi. To the monster, we were no more than insects. I don't believe that. You did some damage. You had to have. Yeah, see, he did. So now, we go to fleet. Don't care how much money it costs. My kingdom! For a dead kraken. In the name of the king. And in the name of Lord Miguel. Because we haven't killed a kraken yet, so we're going to do it tonight. No, I clicked on the kraken. You turd. Yeah, investigate it. We're not done. going down. I don't care if he's not done yet. If we got to do it three times, we'll do it three times. We're not stopping until the Kraken is defeated. That's Emperor Miguel. The Kraken's got to be feeling it. He's feeling the burn. We're not done, Luis. I know you think you're done. Can we give the Kraken the disease? Alright, back to fleet, because we need a repair. I don't care how much this costs us. Repair it all. Yeah. Get off the screen. Do it to it. Pirates, consequences be damned. We don't care. We're taking out a Kraken right now on the MC Mer show. The Kraken's still standing. Four times, five times, doesn't matter. Kraken's going down. We're not done till the Kraken goes down. We're going to cut that Kraken up and make calamari out of him. We're going to serve it at Captain D's with extra tartar sauce, malt vinegar, and potentially extra hush puppies, and a serving of cracklings. Now, as you can see, that's leveled up the battle power because of the fights that he's been in. He's leveled up a lot. Oh, he's done. He's toast. Infect the Kraken. It's a Swedish metal, man. Infect the Kraken! Yeah, 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 yeah! If you notice, the Kraken just disappeared. We're supposed to be celebrating, and Miguel is bothering us to pay paychecks. We'll hand paychecks out afterward. It took you this long to kill the Kraken. What do you want? We're not paying you right now. Kane Deathbreaker is joining us. Welcome, KDB. You're in time to see a Kraken get defeated, buddy. Great timing. Watch this. I'll hoist a San Pellegrino to that. He pierced its vitals with his sword. Now something happens, right? Because that's an achievement. That's something. Yeah. There's that money. There's that cash. There's that bling bling for taking out that Kraken. Hmm. No achievement, huh? Kind of anticlimactic. I want to know... Yeah, we're. This is losing money. We're gonna abolish this trade route completely. Then we're gonna go up here. 
mean, really? We didn't find anything else? Yeah, I don't do the calamari thing, man. I listened to one of my coworkers eating it, and it was squeaking like he was chewing on a dog toy. I was like, dude, no, <laughs> no, dude, no. Let's get a tip from Miguel. Hardly worth trading. Well, isn't that exciting, Miguel? Oh, dude, yeah. Good call, Dan. Uh, Alliance Alive Remaster dude and catch up if you have not played legend of legacy not that you have to play one to do the other but still catch up on just the style of game that that is it's going to be so great when that hits you can play alliance live on 3ds right now but at this point i've waited this long i'm probably just going to wait and do it on uh on console and i've got the big box version on 3ds too So we need to select something else to trade here. That's already a trade route. I don't want to cancel the whole thing. Let's get a ship put in there. Catfish is good when it's done right. I hate to back down on those pirates, but we couldn't find them. Dan, I would advise you, being a lover of all things role-playing, to get a 3DS while they're still out there to be got. I'm fixing to buy the kids new 3DS's before they go extinct because Molly's about wore hers out and Oliver, he'll be the age soon where he can play one. That's interesting, Ice. Mine does not have that setup on there. Looks like I hired the wrong people to do mine. No, I mean, that's cool, Ice. If it does that, that's awesome. We just need some trade. Can we trade for the sugar? Is that going to work? It's not the most profitable thing I've ever seen. Yeah, top men. But we got to have some money coming in, so let them do that. There they are. They're done. Yep. Caught them. We, we disband the trade route, then we find them. You gotta love it. I think that's anything, Ice. I mean, some... Oh, God, he's tore up. He may not win the fight. Oh, well, let him go. You know what? This was a fantastic stream. Aaron, thank you so much for joining us. Always a pleasure to have you guys on the scene. And thank you so much for the opportunity to look at this game. I think there's definitely more to enjoy here. I'm more intrigued more and more of what I do of it. And I hope everybody viewing is enjoying this too. Dropping a like, liking what you see, and getting your pre-orders in for future NIS America products. There's so much fantastic stuff on the horizon, all of which we're more than likely going to be looking at right here on the MC Merch Show because I don't miss you know, much of this stuff. But yeah, special thanks to NIS America. Thank you, Aaron, for joining us. Fantastic having you. And we will be excited to have you back next time and each and every time for subsequent live stream launch day action, as is the custom here on the MC Merch Show. So, so much fun. Francisco Perez, he is kind of just chilling out where he is. And I think we can relocate him now. I almost want to get Maria back out, but that's going to cost so much more than we're really wanting to spend right now. God, all these places are infected with the creeping crud. Yep. 
send him all the way down there. Miguel is a few. You're getting a Miguel tat. Get him on your chest. Get him right there on your butt neck. <laughs> Doing this like he's falling into your. <laughs> yeah, those Kraken. I gotta tell you, you gotta get a Kraken stamp in there. We took a Kraken down, so mark that in the books. Let everybody at the home office know a Kraken was defeated tonight coming up on my birthday in 1493 it looks like let's see what other uh, pirates here have not done anything we are just about out of time for tonight but we're going to make sure that we get one last run going here of our pirates before we stop for the night and see what else they can get done where is he he can cut straight across if he finds another Kraken, well, you know what's going to happen if he does. Sail it up, big boy. You and your monkey. Yeah, you know, the more I look at this game, I mean, there were some things that were frustrating me at first, but that's any game. Oh, God, what's he getting into? Oh, he's going to take out those pirates. But the more I see of it, and you know, again, look. Let's look here. I can only report on what's been done right here. And look at those angry faces of everybody that's sick. But this is the world. All of that has to be mapped. And we've got these lines that we've done. And we're just cutting into the fog, you know. And that fog only dissipates as we explore. So, you gotta think. We're only 10% in. We've got hours into this. How long will it really take to get all that done? And it's a matter of getting out, finding land, finding a new settlement, relocating, expanding your reach, going from there, and making sure that all the while trade routes are going, effective ones based on what the items are, the cost, the money made, also based on how far in proximity they are between the two points to make sure that you're funding all your efforts. All of that mixed together with making sure that you are as busy as possible in any given time frame between paychecks or the king is going to stiff you. So again, so many variables there that guarantees pretty much replay value. If you're into what you're seeing here, this game can be yours for the low introductory price of $49.99 on the Switch. But if you're a PC Master Racer, I'm sure that you can do this on Steam for a fraction of the cost and have the same fantastic uh, experience. So... That's something to think about too. Multiple ways to play this game. And if I understood Japanese, I would probably not mind playing some of the old PS2 ones just to see, you know, the comparison between the two. Yeah, we're, we're about to wind down, Jim, but we're going to take a look. Uh, we're going to take one last look, one last run with these pirates and see what they come up with on their journey. He's exploring. He's relocating. He's investigating. So we'll speed time up. And we'll let them get back and report. Lucky Collector, welcome, LC. You know, not knowing what's out there. The adventure being not knowing. And then knowing that every time you play again, it will be completely different. And here's the king again. Breaking my beans. Ten grand. Thanks, king. It, well, you know, the dread pirate Murr. Captain Jack Murrow was here a little earlier. It's a pirate stream. We got to do it. You got to do it. Look at these two crossing paths over here. Time to pay our admirals. Well, I, before I pay, I'd like to know how they did. But I guess I don't have that luxury. Paying a premium for good admirals here. They're not getting the work done. Do, 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 do. Nolcha. Dun, 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 dun. All right, let's see what he does. I called my crew onto the deck today and had them fall into rank. I had gathered them to brief them on our current route and objective. After which I stood before them, staring them directly in the eyes of me, sailor before me, displays an air of poison confidence and goes to Captain D's to get some calamari. You have my faith, you have my trust, do as we proud just move. All right. So we had fun. We saw some various uh, pirate garbs. 
we explored this game a little bit deeper. We had Aaron from NIS America here. We had a great time. We had a rap about a Kraken. A lot of great things have happened so far. So wind at our backs. We're, uh, we're getting deeper into this thing. I'm glad that I have it. There are Kraken tentacles emerging. It doesn't look like the Kraken engaged Antonio Gomez. Which is nice because he certainly had longer to go there. Oh, come on. Hit land. Hit land. Come on, Wiggy. There we go. Look at this big piece of land. Now, surely there's something right here, right? That That's that's a report I can accept. That's a big piece of land right there. And he's going to level up, so his observation goes up. He's more likely to find stuff. Uh-oh. The evil merchant, Mendez Quesada. Hey, Miguel. I got my hands on a real treasure. Want to take a look? Worked with some pirates from the Orient and got me a Drakken stone. Is that the stone we need? I forgot this guy was a thing. Yeah, we'll need someone to timestamp the Kraken rap later on, so we'll go back and do that after this is processed. A Drakken stone, you say, hmm, Quesada, this is a rock. Come on now, look closer. Would you believe that this here is a dragon fossil? No, I would not. Would you look at this? This is unique. A dragon. Hold on. When you say dragon... You mean the same sort that brave knights fought to save princesses? You mean that kind of dragon? Now I'm interested how much do you want for it? 10 million gold. Nine million gold now. Alvaro Torres. He says he'll take it. You don't have that kind of money. So he took it for 900 gold? Why didn't I get it? I'll kill that guy and take it for myself. This is piracy, isn't it? Miguel looks like he should be painting a portrait or something somewhere. Alright, so we can go look at the stone. That's part of the story. So that adds a quest in. Discovered monster fossil. So they're giving us credit for the discovery. It's just part of the story. 30,000 gold credited for the discovery. We would have to send someone to go investigate it. I think. Not. But it's really the sea. Alright, so the captain has returned back from his fight. Luis Baldi, let's see how he did. He may not have won because he was tore up from the Kraken fight. Nope, he won. Waka, waka, waka! 50,000 gold for demolishing a pirate. The payout for the Kraken was much better. An epidemic that began at Venice is now under control. Well, good. If y'all can get it under control, y'all get it under control then. What am I here looking for rocks for? We're trying to get some action going. Right, he's anchored. Repair. Repair. Before we conclude, we're going to take a quick look at what we found in this new piece of land over here. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is, I'm telling you, the game does this and it does that, and I don't know, and I'm going to keep playing this, but it's like you do, though, because it's you find new stuff. And then it's just that much further you can go, and you want to look that much further. Even when you find Jerk Doodly. Oh, we got a chest. We did find something. Look at this. The new South South New World theme. 10,000 gold. As anticlimactic as that may be. We found it. Yeah, you know me. I'm, I'm a pirate head. We've talked about how great it would be if we had an open world pirate game a la CD Projekt Red quality someday. And maybe someday we will. But these have a value all their own too. You know, strategy something laid back you could play this game with a cup of coffee you know and and really just take your time with it so there's a lot that can be said for it now i stick by what i said in the review though is this game for everybody 
no, absolutely not, no way. Uh, it's one of those things you would have to really look at what we're doing here and say, you know what, this is the kind of game I would enjoy. But if you could do that, I mean, that's why we do these things. I play unique games. I play niche titles. And uh, to know whether or not you're into it, you can look right here on the show. See if it's your bag. See if it's your thing. And if it is, go pick it up. Again, I want to thank each and every one of you for coming out tonight for TNL. I think we had a fantastic stream. I want to thank Aaron and NIS America for coming out and hanging out with us, answering questions. You know, fantastic stuff on the horizon from NIS as well. We've got launch day live streams of some of those collector's editions to unbox, as is the norm here on the show. I hope everybody enjoyed what they saw here tonight. I hope everybody's going to like this video. hope everybody watching the recap is going to like this video. hope everybody watching the recap and I'm going to be dropping a like on this video. And if you have not already done so here or beyond or otherwise, that you're going to subscribe to the MC Mer Show. Be a part of Mer Nation. We're rising up. Fantastic things going on right here that you need to be a part of and make sure that you smack that notification bell so you're always the first to know when new content goes live. Lest ye be fancy in a swim with Davy Jones. MC Mer signing off for this fantastic day one launch day live stream of Neo Atlas 1469 on the Nintendo Switch. I want to thank everybody for joining me and I will see each and every one of you again next time. Bye.